Hey everyone, this is Sean with Red Arrow Industries, and today I want to show you how to map keyboard shortcuts in Avid Media Composer. Mapping your keyboard to customize your workflow and how you use the Avid is going to greatly increase your speed, so I recommend all editors taking about 30 minutes to an hour out of their day to really figure out what shortcuts are going to work best for them. First, we're going to start by bringing up our keyboard under Settings, and then opening up our Command Palette under Tools. You'll notice at the bottom of the command palette are three options. Button to button reassignment, active palette, and menu to button reassignment. Active palette means whatever command you click on your command palette is going to activate on your timeline. Now to map a new function to the keys on your keyboard, you're going to make sure the button to button reassignment option is on, click and hold the new key you're wanting, and drag it over on top of the old key you're wanting to change. If you find yourself running out of room to map keys on the keyboard, you can also hold shift for a lot more keys to map. And if you mess up, that's okay. Go over to the other tab on your command palette, select the blank button, and drag it over to reset your key. Now let's say I want to map a function you can only find in the menus, like audio mixdowns. That's when you'll use the menu to button reassignment option. First, click on the key you're wanting to assign the function to, in this case I'm going to use shift A for audio, then go to the function, and simply click it. And that's it. A quick view on how to map keyboard shortcuts in Avid Media Composer. Do you have any really useful functions you've had to map out? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful in any way, hit that subscribe button. You can also visit us on the web at redoindustries.com or on our Facebook page at Redo Industries. Thanks for watching.